day six programming here at the 2016 Twin Cities Film Fest, hosted by the shops at West End and the beautiful Showplace Icon Theater. It's our seventh annual, and as we step into the evening program on day six, it's kicking off with a Minnesota Connected feature length documentary that is four plus years, I think, in the making. And I am speaking here with the director, Jason Schumacher. He's a local filmmaker. The name of the documentary is Beyond the Thrill, and this is an incredible idea, an amazing story. Jason, how did you get involved with a feature-length documentary about competitive skydiving? I started out as the editor of the film, and so I got all this incredible skydiving footage that kind of came to my desk, and there were pieces of the story that weren't quite there, so I kind of went back and interviewed a lot of the participants, oh, and I, sure. I sort of through necessity became the director of the film, yes. uh, so editor and director of the film. And I got really fascinated because uh, through the cameraman who I spent a lot of time working with, getting his footage, yep. uh, because he is a skydiving cameraman working in a 360 degree space. And I edit a lot, so that was something unique and unlike anything I'd ever edited before. And you talked about how this is a competitive sport and, and I don't think there's any other sport where there is a cameraman who's an integral part of the team right. because that cameraman has an impact on how scores are made and how, how those teams do, correct? Right. Uh, as far as I know, it's the only sport where your cameraman is a member yes. of your team. And as a guy who's run camera myself, that was also pretty interesting. Yep. Um, because if he misses something while he's falling behind these guys, if he turns away or misses it, they can't score it because it's not on video and they're, they're scoring based on the video. Which means that they all have to train together. So you actually have a camera person that is in training with the rest of the team. Right, they do a lot of training on their own through wind tunnels, but then the cameraman, when they start to do their actual jumps, yep. he trains with them and they have to synchronize, you know, the exit from like everything yep. about who's where exactly in the plane as they exit because he has to basically catch the first formation less than a second from leaving the door of the plane. Right. So since I have you here, I want to dive back into your role with the film. So it's really interesting how you talked about you sort of came in on kind of the end, yeah. the end in post initially, and you saw a lot of potential for this that you wanted to dive back in. What were your goals having, uh, having taken the time and the commitment to, to getting more footage? Did you want to make it about people? Did you, I mean, you have these four interesting characters, but you also have this incredible sport. Can you talk a little bit how you navigated the story that you wanted to tell? Right. I mean... With any film, documentary, or narrative, I'm always interested in the people and why people do what they do and the psychology of that and just what makes somebody latch on to something and what makes them passionate. And so that was what made me really interested in it. And also it was just very unique footage that yeah. I never really had a chance to cut anything like it. Now I've got to ask, did you ever get up in a plane and capture any footage? Did you talk to them before a jump, that kind of thing? Yeah, I talked to them before some practice jumps. I have never jumped myself. Uh, I rode passenger and watched people jump out the back yep. and filmed that happening, and that was yep. you know, exciting enough for me. Yep. And I think there's a really important statistic that's noted in the film. I don't want to give it away right now, but about the huge number of people that do a first jump right. and then the amount of people that do a second jump which, again, I don't want to give that away. That's a really neat story point that's highlighted in the film. But as we kind of wrap up here, because I know you need to get in and see your screening, where can audiences continue to see Beyond the Thrill after the Twin Cities Film Fest here? I know this is the world premiere, right? Yes. Which is really neat. Is it going other places? Uh, I would stay in touch with the Facebook page. Okay. So just uh, facebook.com, Beyond yep. the Thrill, and you can see all of our updates there. Yep. Tell us what it's like for you to be back once again at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Oh, it's great. I love it here. We, I had a fiction short here two years ago, yep. uh, Sad Clown, and I'm just happy to be back here with the film to share. We couldn't be happier to have you again. It's a feature-length Minnesota Connected documentary. It's called Beyond the Thrill. It's premiering here on day six of the 2016 Twin Cities Film Fest. Jason Schumacher is the director. He's here. He's at the screening. He's going to be at the Mixer Lounge after. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to see you again on the officially sponsored Twin Cities Film Fest red carpet. Once again, we'll see you soon.